welcome back to training vlog number 33. This is the first bench press session of my peak, and it did go fairly well. As you'll see later on, I got a few new toys to spice up the garage gym, which is pretty awesome. You know, having limited equipment, sometimes things get stale. So especially when adding in things like cables and springs, you know, it brings a whole new dimension to my training, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, before I go any further, make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below. Please make sure to ask a Q&A question. It's been a while since I've made those video, one of those videos, and I really like answering questions and helping people, um, as well as share the video and check out the link in the description to see my Patreon. Thank you. Anyways, I opened things up with a 275 pound single, which moved very well. That's actually the most weight that I've bench pressed in a few months ever since I hurt my shoulder. I pretty much haven't gone over 265 just due to how unstable things would feel with over 260. But due to my band YTWAs and uh, you know just time and healing, uh, I was able to be stable with 275 today and make it move pretty well. So this is a huge milestone in my bench comeback saga. And I'm definitely on track to be hitting a bench PR at the end of this peak. And then just like with squats, I did uh, two sets of 10 for the back down with 200 pounds. Also moved pretty well. And then I moved on to Larson football bar press in order to get in, order to get in more volume with a um, variation that's a little bit easier to recover from, but still provides a great stimulus. And on that movement, as well as the leaning lat pull down and these close grip overhead presses here, you know, just kept with the trend of beating the books, getting better every single week steadily, you know, not getting greedy. And that's really all there is to it. Um, <clears throat> with the leaning lat pull down, that's the best I can do. I can't really stay upright and get that, you know, vertical pull like I want. So that, for that reason, I'm leaning just a little bit forward. That way I can make it somewhat like a lat pull down. It feels a little bit differently, but it's good enough to get the job done. And if you saw my previous video, you know, it's only $49.99. So that beats buying a lat pull down machine for like $800 to $1,000 any day. A few tips with the home gym cable pulley setup if you want to reduce swinging. A few things you can do include having a tethering chain. Uh, you want to make sure it's a shorter length, probably just a few inches, maybe four or five inches. If you have it any longer than that, it will get caught up on the carabiners and it'll be, it gets very aggravating and it will mess up your focus for your sets. So make sure that your tethering chain is not too long. You know, that's going to attach from the one side of the cable that's near you and you just attach it to the other side of the cable where the weight stack is. And if you don't like that, you can also droop... Um, chains over the plates that also helps them from rocking around it does get annoying though because the chains do fall off so as you see I'm doing with the uh, rope tricep extensions here I'm just making sure to do each rep with a controlled tempo and doing that alone will prevent the weight from swinging all over the place okay so backtracking just a little bit to those spring curls that's an implement that I was inspired to buy from Alpha Destiny's recommendation and I'm very glad that I did. It was like $30 on Amazon. And with only two of the springs, I'm able to get in a great bicep workout uh, with one arm. I'm excited to see how this progresses. By the time I'm doing four springs, I think I will have substantial improvements in arm size. Uh, I love how they're just super easy to set up. They feel similar to bands and cables put together. It's a very unique feeling and hard to explain. You're going to have to buy one and try it out yourself to see what I'm talking about. And to finish up the superset, I did some Lou raises here, going for very high reps. The last few burnt intensely. I wish they made 15 pound plates. I feel like they'd be perfect for Lou raises. So I may have to invent that myself. Knock on wood, no one hears this and steals my idea because. Probably somewhere down the road, I will look into creating some nice 15 pound plates that can be used for loo raises. Ideally, when you do a loo raise, you want to use Olympic plates 
right here I'm using standard and it is a little bit uncomfortable to grip but with the Olympic plates you can fit your fingers in the hole easier and it just uh, provides a more smoother experience on the hands and the wrists and that just about wraps up everything I have to say in this vlog so thank you very much for tuning in make sure once again to hit the like and subscribe Drop a comment down below, check out my Patreon. Thank you so much, have a great day.